Hey everybody, it's oh, hey everybody, it's Tyler with Gaia Force Gaming, and uh, I'm finally doing this deck profile that you guys have been asking for. This is on the Black War Grandmon Ragna combo deck. Um, I do think it's a really strong deck. Um, is it tier one? I don't know. It's really fun. It's uh, pretty rewarding to play. It's kind of high risk, high reward. You give up the consistency. A little bit of consistency in the Black War Greymon deck for uh, just like a instant win OTK potential. Um, but it is still at its core just a Black War Greymon deck with a little bit of consistency taken out of it for a bigger explosion. Um, I have a lot of fun with the deck. I've been playing it recently as you can see from the videos. And I'll just go over the cards and choices and some things I may or may not change if I keep playing the deck. Uh, I think I've I think I've run its course for now. I might revisit it later. But uh, for the eggs, uh, it's the BT5 Coromon. Without a doubt, the egg you want. Uh, you want to try and build consistency where you can. Because you do have to drop some for the pieces of the combo. Uh, so you want to draw some cards. If you have Greymon in your name, you draw a card when you attack. So that's the one. Uh, and you did get a foil reprint in the RBL one. Which is nice. Because you can get a foil even without the Evo Cup ones. Uh, for the rookies... You have this Agumon, which can't go into the Rag or the Dorbic, but it is the best Agumon to play because you get to double search. It has all turns plus 100, plus 1k uh, inheritable, so it's pretty good. Uh, then you have the Agumons that are dinosaurs, so they can go into it. So Agumon X, which is great, that has a different name than Agumon, and it is a dinosaur. Also, you want bigger stacks in this deck, and of course, more searching. Uh, and then. This Agumon, the Agumon, the Marcus Agumon from, uh, what is it, BT11? BT12, sorry. Because uh, it also searches a Greymon piece, and uh, the Inheritable will never come up, but it is a dinosaur. Searches a Greymon, just 11 rookies. I don't think it's that bad. Uh, I did have 12 for a bit, but I felt that the one thing I could cut was this. Didn't hurt too much. Uh, something to be noted is over the Coromon, you can evolve for one into this, if that ever comes up where you want to choke them. But you can't do that with this because this only evolves over black rookies. You could choose to use the alternate or the one over red. Uh, level fours. All of these are dinosaurs, so they can all work with Dorbic. Two of this Greymon. Um, it plays the tie. 1k all turns. Pretty good. Uh, it evolves for Agumon with the alternate cost. So... It'll be able to evolve over even non-black rookies. Uh, three of the BT5 Greymon get plus one memory if you have Agumon in your name, plus 2k DP. I like it a lot for cheap climb, and just the plus 2k DP does come up against certain decks. Uh, you have one of the Greymon X that is limited to one. Uh, I don't really need to go into depth about that, even though in this deck specifically, you don't rely on this for protection as much as just the ramp into the next level, uh, where your protection mostly comes from the three Greymon X's from the older set. Uh, again, just double check with names, because Dorbermon can't have more than one of the same name, not just card number, so you can't double up on these or these, but for the most part, those are good. Speaking of Dorbic, we have two Flame Dramons. It is a Dark Dragon, so you get to... Use it for Dorbic and then DNA at the end of the turn. It's what makes the combo work at the cost of consistency. You can't search this with any other Greymon cards, uh, just with the red boost, but uh, necessary. Definitely at least one. I could see myself running just one and adding another Greymon in, but I like having two of each of the pieces of the combo just for some redundancy. I could even see going as high as three Dorbic in the future. Uh, if I did want to continue to play this deck at like a higher level or whatever. Uh, I think this is the best Metal Greymon. I used to play the BT9 one or whatever it is, the, the D Digivolve one. But this is just, this is Insano with the raid and the free Tamer drop. Uh, gives piercing. Uh, just the best Metal Greymon, honestly. Uh, I do play two Metal Greymon X. Uh, just, you get buff on Digivolve. It's free. In most cases, like this will just help you get some good chip damage in. If you could put them at three security, the Ragna is almost always an OTK. And then I did end up going with two Alteris mode. Just uh, it just I just wanted uh, more level fives. I was running the other Metal Grim on X for a while, but I ended up liking Alteris mode to just pop things, kind of control the board. You are playing a very mid-rangey game. 
going up into the Ragna. So I just, I, I, I tried it out uh, after an earlier build. I did really like the Altruist mode. Um, yeah. Uh, level sixes, I run three of the Black War Grandmon. It pops Tamers, which is its best thing. It unsuspends itself. It kind of demands to be answered. Um, uh, none of the level fives can go into Dormic, by the way, but all of the level sixes can. So just these, and having more Black War Grimmons is good because you do want to prioritize getting a big stack if you can. One Gaomon, it's a huge pressure card. It's uh, It'll get that chip damage. It'll usually put them at two security because you go into this, followed by this, and I'm a fan of Gaomon, personally. Uh, one Black War Grimmon X, uh, it, it, you defined a format. It's a really good card. I could even see dropping one of the Black War Grimmons for Black War Grimmon X, like another one, but again, Having the bigger stack does come up sometimes to get you to as many sources as possible so you could pop off with Ragna. And you want to be able to maybe dump some of these into your Dorbic if you want to. I run two Dorbics. I could see myself going to three uh, just for a total of seven level sixes. Don't forget that this is also just removal sometimes. It has Rush, which can win the game even without the combo. Uh, it can just evolve over your level fives if you need a level six to just hard to go into Ragna, which I play two Ragnas. Again, it doesn't have to be the great combo, but just dropping the Ragna as a natural DNA can also just win the game. Uh, it, Ragna's such a good win button. Just trashing security and then blitzing is so powerful. The fact that he has blitz even though he DNAs for free, uh, but trashing the security. Uh, it, there are also, there was a game where, um, I don't remember if I got it recorded or not, where he, I did have to go into this just to put them at zero, and he unsuspended, and he had all the buffs from the stack, so he still had the Yuya buff, he was still a blocker, at least for the turn, and he was unsuspended at like a 20k from all the passive buffs uh, that apply to the Digimon and not to just Greymon. Um, apply to Greymon at the time, but then, you know, you guys know what I'm saying. So that could be cool. As for options... I have two red memory boosts. You could go to more of this because it does search your combo pieces. Um, it, for me, it was just you're getting down to space, like what you want to spend space on. Um, I do have two X antibody, which I think is really important for the games where you don't hit your combo pieces. Um, just mostly the play where you evolve into this after swinging with raid. Super, super good. Uh, but I can, there's a world where I could see kind of just kind of focusing more on the combo i guess for lack of a better terms one hades force it comes up a lot i did drop it at one point um but i ended up putting it back in because there's just a lot of matchups where it's really strong against so just the one uh three tie it just consistency booster gives you memory gives you dp makes you a blocker great card uh one yuya i think uh, it's a weaker option. It could be a fourth tie, but overall it's pretty good. And then again, just for extenders, two cool boy, which I actually think at the end of the day could be dropped. Like if you want more space, you can make this like a third door bick, another red boost, uh, another tie, just in general. These could be other cards. Uh, this is a deck that probably really benefits instead of running the red boosts. Perhaps, or actually, red boosts are still good, but I think the training boosts would come in handy as well, because they can grab anything red. Uh, maybe in this situation you'd go black? No, because Dorbic and Flame are red. Anyway, you could tinker with it. There's a lot that can be done. I really enjoy this deck. I think it's a ton of fun. Uh, it's really fun to like find lines of play, see how you could combo off. I mean, you guys have been watching the videos. It... Definitely, game one can take some people by surprise if you kind of keep it hidden, keep your pieces kind of uh, on the DL. Uh, do I think that this is going to, like, take any events by storm? Probably not higher level events. Do I think it could top a regionals, like, in standard format? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, it could be anyone's day. Do I think you're going to find consistent, amazing results? No. But do I think that if you put the time in, and understand the deck that you'll find consistent results that you're pretty pleased with. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've had this deck built. 
Uh, it's one of the only decks that I've kept built and I keep tinkering with and kind of toying with and I have a lot of fun with it. So, uh, yeah, I give it a try. I know that, like, uh, uh, Danny McNally is local to me and he plays Blackboard Gremlin a lot and I know that he tinkers with a build that only runs, like, a single Ragna, uh, but still two Dorbic and one Flame. Like, one Flame, one Ragna, two Dorbic, just as, like, not cutting the consistency as much but still having just a small amount of that high end. That could be fun. Uh, the new uh, Greymon Ace starter deck comes out. And there's definitely some tools in there that you can mess around with. I think Trident Arm's a great card. I think the Security Greymon could be huge for a deck like this, where you could play like a Tie for free or an Agumon for free, get more search. Um, just in general, I, I don't think. I think the more Greymon support that comes out, uh, the better this deck can, can kind of get. Even if the core kind of changes a bit, just having the Dorbic Ragna Flame Dramon kind of combo um, stays pretty potent as the game goes on. So it's something to, you know, keep in mind. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this deck. Uh, I, usually I have like a big tag with the decks, like I did this, I came this place with this deck at this time, but uh, this one's just for fun. Uh, I hope that's okay with you guys. But I have a lot of fun with it. I hope you do too. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord for weekly events with cool custom prizes. Um, like these cool Coromon dice. Where, where, let me put it, put it right here. Bam. Bam, baby. Cool Coromon. And custom mats like the one I'm playing on. Uh, you know, other than that, just hit me up. I'm, I'm really excited for the game. I'm really excited for... We've had kind of a lull. Now the new starters are out. That's exciting. Uh, we're going to be getting BT14 pretty soon. Super exciting. Uh, EX5. Uh, Nats is coming up. Oh, a lot of fun stuff. So I know Nats. I said Nats is coming up. And Nats is like three months away, but whew, who am I going to see there? Anyway, I love you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.